Gianco please example 4.1-1, heat loss through an insulating wall. We are asked to calculate the heat loss per meter squared of surface area for an insulating composed of 25.4 mm thick fiber insulating board, where the inside temperature is 352.7 Kelvin and the outside temperature is 297.1 Kelvin. So let me just draw a rough sketch of this problem. Okay, so here more or less we'll have this like this wall, part of the wall where heat flows. The outer is of higher temperature, like the, this outer surface, this outer area is of higher temperature, and this is of temperature, uh, temperature here of the outer is 300 feet away. It's not like that. This is the inner inner wall, not the outer. Okay, so this is the inner wall is actually 352.7 Kelvin, and the outer, the surrounding, is actually at a lower temperature. The surrounding here, the temperature here of the outer wall, more or less this one in blue, the outer. Okay, that, that there in the outer wall is actually at a lower temp, 352.7 Kelvin. That is why heat is flowing from the inside to out. Okay, so heat flows through there. And this amount of heat um, is supposed to be minimized by placing this wall, this insulating wall. And this wall has a thickness of 25.4 mm or that's actually or essential this is just one inch thick now we are asked here to calculate the heat loss how much you know Q is lost per meter squared of area so which means that per area of one meter square how much heat is lost what is Q so this is a very a basic problem which simply tells us that we can use the equation Q. Well, the rate of heat loss, Q, is, or the rate of heat flow is just equal to driving force. What drives the flow? Temperature difference. What prevents the flow? Okay, the resistance over the, the driving force over the resistance. And how do you compute for the resistance for this um, flow of heat through a, through a wall? Well, resistance is simply, well, the area it's a function of the area the bigger the area the smaller the resistance so i put the area in the denominator the conductivity well this one has a certain conductivity and actually if you look at that in a table or some reference uh, no reference books perhaps the the, the peri and here actually it's given in appendix a.3 here in gian copies and the thermal conductivity for Fiber insulating board is given to be well K is equal to 0 0.048 watts per meter Kelvin quite a low conductivity because of course this is an insulator so K the resistance the bigger the conductivity the smaller the resistance so K will be here in the denominator and of course the thickness Delta X will be in the numerator. So let me compute for this one first. Delta S, what's the thickness in terms of meters? So that's what? 25.4 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. Okay. Meter mm to meters. And then area. What's the area? Well, we're given, we're, we need to assume an area of 1 square meter area because we're, we're trying to calculate the heat loss per square meter. And the conductivity is 0 0.048 watts per meter Kelvin. And in here, the meter and the meter here will cancel. One of the meter and the other meter will be canceled fully by this one. And it turns out that our resistance will just be equal to 0 0.5292 if you do the math for that Kelvin. Per watts okay that's your resistance and to compute for Q simply 
put in the values now. Well, the temperature difference that drives the flow will just be what? Oh, wait. I think I made a mistake. Ti is 352. Temperature of the, you know, uh, inside, inside the, in the one that you want to insulate. But the outer temp, the surrounding temp, outside temperature is 297.1. So this must supposed to be 297.1 Kelvin, not the, not the 352, okay? And delta T will just be the difference of these two. 352.7, 352.7 minus 297.1, meaning the driving force is 55.6, quite 55.6. Kelvin of what? Of temperature difference. And this one, the resistance is 0.5292 Kelvin per watts. And that will then lead to Q, which is what? Equal to what's 55.6 divided by 0.5292. And that will give me. 105.1 watts meaning uh, this amount of heat will be lost in that room through a one meter squared of area meaning every square meter of area will be able to lose this amount of heat heat will flow to that area per square meter 105.1 watts and I think that's it thank you